Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and we are back again together. All right, so we're looking at question 10 uh, from the Gauteng paper, uh, the prelim paper. Uh, by the way, uh, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please make sure that you're part of the family. Hey, please, we've been learning a lot of things. And by the way, uh, there are a lot of lessons that we've already dished out and made sure that you can understand each section in physical science. Right, so I'm looking at uh, the last question. Uh, uh, which is question 10 uh, from the Gauteng paper. Um, so uh, um, um, this one has to do with the photoelectric effect. Okay, So uh, they say the apparatus shown below allows for several uh, variables in the investigation uh, of the photoelectric effect. And Lena sets up the apparatus and measures the maximum kinetic energy um, of the photoelectrons from a metal surface using different frequencies of incident uh, uh, radiation. Right, so the first thing that they give us there, okay, so there it is, we've got that light that's incident there, and we know that electrons are going to be ejected, and yeah, and they measure using different metals with different work functions and by the way if you if 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 you're still struggling with this section i've actually made a video uh, of it just uh, make sure that you 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 go on to the photoelectric effect just search for that video and you will find it amongst the many that we've produced right so um they say describe the photoelectric effect uh, remember this is the phenomenon or you can say it's the process where electrons are ejected, right, from a metal surface when light is incident onto that surface, right? So that's the photoelectric effect in uh, in a nutshell. All right, uh, let's look at the next question. They say light from different wavelengths, okay, is shown is shown onto metal X, um, and the kinetic energy is measured. All right, they say name the independent, dependent, and the control variables in this experiment. All right, so uh, what did they do? They took light of different uh, uh, wavelengths, right? So what are we changing? It's the wavelengths. So that means that our independent variables, so in 10.2.1, uh, our independent variable, if you don't mind, I'm just going to call it IV there. Uh, our independent variable, it's going to be uh, the frequency of light, if you may call it that. Uh, if you said different lights, uh, you know, that different sources of light, uh, I would accept that. Okay, so I would take the frequency of light as that. Okay, right. And then what is our dependent variable? Remember, as I change the frequency, what does it do? it changes the kinetic energy. They said the kinetic energy is measured. So it means that the kinetic energy, uh, uh, EK, or you can just simply write it out there, it's the kinetic energy of the ejected electrons, right? Uh, kinetic energy of ejected electrons. And what would be the controlled variables, okay? Um, so remember, what's a control variable? It's what you keep the same, right? So what I would keep the same there would be the metal that I use. So uh, it's metal X. So my control variable, uh, in this case, it would be a metal X, or you can say the work function. Remember, I need to make sure that uh, as I test this, I test it onto the same metal, okay? Uh, so that I make sure that work function uh, remains constant. Okay, right, let's go to 10.2.2. We'll be done in no time. Right, they say when ultraviolet light uh, with a wavelength of uh, 800 and, uh, 280 rather, nanometers is shown onto metal X, uh, the kinetic energy of the released electrons. Okay, so they give us the kinetic energy. They say identify metal X. So they give they gave us a list of uh, metals there. So what we're going to do is let's find out. We've got the kinetic energy. We've got the wavelength of the metal. Okay. Uh, and the thing about the photoelectric effect is just to always make sure that you know who's who in the zoo, right? So uh, E is equals to omega zero plus uh, kinetic energy. 
okay that's ek max so if you look at this we need to know what belongs here so we know here we know e is equals to hf all right we want omega zero we want the work function but we are given in this case the speed or, or rather uh, uh, the kinetic energy of the ejected electron right so uh, we know we are given that kinetic energy there uh, which is uh, 5.74 so we have that guy there so i don't need to use a uh, half mv squared so now i'm going to go over here but we know that f is equals to c over lambda right so this is going to be h c over lambda okay uh, i'm just dragging this just to show you where uh, you know we how we are going to go about answering this question okay um, of course, you don't need to write down everything that I'm writing here. It's, it's just I'm, I'm just showing you where it comes from. So all we need to do now, ladies and gents, is just substitute, right? So we know Planck's constant, okay? And you're given that. So this is 6.63. Uh, this is times 10 minus 34 uh, multiplied by the speed of uh, light. In this case, that's 3 times 10 to the power 8. Again, you are given that. You are also given uh, the... Uh, and by the way, why did I say AC over lambda? Because we are given the, the you, you know, the, the wavelength this time around, right? And they say it's 280 nanometers. Remember, nano is times 10 to the minus 9, okay? We want the work function, but we're also given EK max uh, as 5.74 times 10 to the power minus 20 right so all i'm just simply going to do is just work out my work function over there okay uh, let me just pull out my calculator um right and nothing more to it all you are simply doing is just simply calculating those values there so i'm going to say uh, 6.63 uh, times 10 minus 34 okay multiplied 3 to the 8 Okay, and uh, when I get that answer there, uh, I just simply subtract that 5.74 times 10 minus 20. And what do you get? So I get an answer, omega 0 is 6.52 or 53 uh, times 10 to the power minus 19. And remember, this is in joules. And remember, we needed to... Um, identify which one is metal X so it means that metal X must be aluminium can you see that okay our aluminium so it means that X is aluminium all right as simple as that okay and 10.2.3 uh, they say the maximum kinetic energy of electrons ejected uh, by this ultraviolet light is greater okay then the maximum kinetic energy ejected by blue light explain why this is so all right so essentially they want to know if we use ultraviolet now please remember the visible spectrum uh, roy g Biv, um here it is here okay remember that as you go in that direction towards violet the frequency is increasing right so where would ultraviolet be uh, remember ultraviolet is doesn't fall part, uh, form part of the visible spectrum so in this case ultraviolet is just next to violet so it means you are increasing in frequency as you move in that direction and if you note in this case uh, e is directly proportional to the frequency so the greater the frequency the greater the energy of the photon that's emitted by that particular light right so of course uv light has got a higher frequency than blue light okay that's first that's number one and therefore in this case um, uv light will have a higher uh, amount of energy uh, per photon okay so the greater the amount of energy per photon all right the greater of course if uh, work function remains constant it means that my kinetic energy or the kinetic of the uh, kinetic energy of the electron will actually 
uh, increase okay so i hope that makes sense i'm not going to write all of that down i hope you understand that um that explanation all right ladies and gents that is how this question paper so we've basically completed all the questions and i hope that you can understand so next week what i'll be doing is uh, i'll be looking at uh, uh, the the chemistry portion i'm sure many of you are looking forward to that and i hope you still continue to work hard ladies and gents um just uh, for those of you who may still want to uh, you know get in touch with us uh, just for assistance with uh, either mathematics or physics and it doesn't matter which curriculum by the way uh, whether you're writing ieb whether you're writing uh, dbe uh, or you are writing your um, your Cambridge, you know, um, you are more than welcome to send me an email uh, that is uh, info at mlungisingosi.co.za and we will get you assisted. Otherwise, ladies and gents, please don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to invite others and we'll see uh, each other again next time. Shab shab.